Well, I've seen a blind man cross the road Trying to make the other side Ever seen a young girl growing old Trying to make herself a bride So what becomes of you, my love When they finally strip you off The handbags and the glad rags That your poor old granddad Had to sweat to buy you Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out Handbags and Glad Rags. Kind of the stereophonics version, but this one was written way back in 1967 by the man from Man. Awesome tuner. It's got this nice little kind of riff thing going on. Uh, I'll show you a couple of different ways of playing it, little variations that you might want to uh, check out. And also a good one for kind of mixing up your open chords and the bar chords. So lots of interesting things going on. So uh, first thing, the original has got a capo at the first fret. Well, the stereophonics version's got a capo at the first fret. Uh, I struggle enough with this tune singing it, so I've taken the capo off. But if you want to play along with the record, you're going to have to put a capo on the first fret there. So uh, the, the big deal here is this kind of descending bass note thing. So you'll hear that we've got this A bass note, G bass note, D, uh, F sharp bass note to an E7 or an E7 sus4 later, I'm going to show you a little variation of that. Now, probably easiest actually is if I go to a close-up and explain how to play this one. Okay, we're starting here with a little A chord, just using your first finger as a bar. And we're going to be using all down picks, right? So we're going to pick the fifth string, fourth string, third string, and then the open D string. Okay, that's the first part of the riff on the A. 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, open 4th string. Now we go to an A with a G bass. So we've got our A chord back again, and we're putting our 2nd finger down on the 6th string of the 3rd fret. And this time we're going to pick 6th string, 4th string, 3rd string, and then the open again. Okay? So A... A with a G bass, then we go to a D with an F sharp bass, okay, so second finger, second fret, thicker string, third finger going down the second fret of the third string, we're just picking six, four, three, four. Now there's a few different kind of chords that get used here for the E. The first one's an E7. So just take a regular full E chord, add the little finger down on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Now I normally play it 6th string, 4th string, and then a little strum on the thinner strings. But it's not so specific, you know, you can kind of experiment a little bit with that. I'll definitely start with playing the bass note there, and then maybe either this string or that string. Doesn't really matter, you know. So the whole riff again using this E7. A, A with a G bass, D with an F sharp bass, E7, A. Okay, I must say, admit that uh, I always used to play it just leaving that first finger down the whole way here, but it is definitely on the record, you can hear the open D string, it kind of sounded funny to me at first, but now that I've played it a bit, it sounds right. Now instead of the E7, sometimes it's an E7 sus4, which is this chord, which is open, second, open, second, third, open. And when I'm doing, if I use that chord, it would normally be 6th string, 5th string, strum. Okay, you don't, now this, the fingering for this, you know, is really up to you. Sometimes I play it like this, 
and that's fine too. Nothing, second fret with the first finger. The open string there tends to get muted if I do it that way, the, what, you know, if I do it this way. It seems kind of, seems to sound fine. Second finger, second fret, little finger where it was before. So there's the E7, but we just... And that one sounds nice, I reckon. You can see the nice finger in there from the D. Third finger staying there, second finger goes down, little finger goes down. Okay, so that's the, the main kind of riffy part. You can either do the E7 or the E7 sus. I think it sounds to me like it's E, the regular E7 in the kind of the intro and the little breakdown bits, and then the E7 sus in the verses. Okay, then we're into the chorus. Now the chorus, F sharp minor. What becomes of you, my love? So F sharp minor, two, three, all down strums, E, two, three, four, A, two. And when they finally stripped you of the to B chord, then to handbags, and that's a D, then to a D with an E bass. Now what's going on here from a regular D, then it's four strings only, we just move our first finger over to do a little bar, so it's now nothing, nothing, second, second, third, second. So there's D, here, D with an E bass. Okay, it also sounds very much like our E7 sus4, you know, to, that's the, the sound that we're getting. So that, F sharp minor. What becomes of you, my love? When they finally strip you of the handbags and the glad rags that your poor old granddad had to swear to buy. Note there with a D when I'm going to that, sometimes thumbs coming over and just muting up those other strings. I'm not playing anything with it, it's just uh, coming to do a little bit of muting work if I accidentally hit one of those strings. Not a bad habit to get into with this tune. I'm sure you're going to have a whole lot of fun playing this tune. Some few tricky bits with the bar chords and stuff and getting the riffs done, but you know the strumming's pretty simple. The fact that you can use all down strums for, for both the, the verses, picking out the stuff and for the strumming in the chorus, you know keeps that hand kind of sorted and gives you a chance to concentrate on getting nice, clean and well-played chords there. Plus you've got the little D with an E bass. So I think there's some interesting stuff going on. Phonics are a great band, man. You know, properly one of the best rock bands still currently touring and stuff. You know, really great. Um, so have fun with it. I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs and stuff very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.